Hello guys and welcome back, Will here once again. So then bringing you another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Um, so today we're going to be continuing where we left off. And I'm not 100% sure what we are doing. We definitely need more money. And I'm going to go and research a new topic. And it's, actually no, we were going to research target audience, weren't we? Yes. I remember now. And we are... Nearly in debt. Great. Hopefully we don't go bankrupt. Which we probably will end up doing. Knowing my luck. Uh, you have successfully researched target audience. Yeah, um... I did actually get a few tips from someone. So we need to develop a really cheap game. Um... Picking the right target audience for a game is very important. Okay. So, I'm going to go for a young thing and do... Do we have... No. So we need to go... Let's go simulations. We want a sci-fi simulation. Let's do it for the PC. Um... Let's do that. 15 Probably end up going bankrupt. Yep, we're bankrupt. Unless, yeah, they give us some money. And then we, um, agree. Um, that should be good. We just need to, um, pay it off. So engine we want quite good. Gameplay, yep. Yeah. Let's not really have any stories and quests. I think this is going to be going quite good now. Hopefully you can see my mouse in this as well. Uh, the stage. Uh, level design. Yeah, we want that quite good. AI. Yeah. Dialogues. Not really any. Because it is a simulation. We don't want loads of... Uh... Alright. Today Ninvento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming connection. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the GameLing is owing. The GameLing is said to hit this month. And hopefully um, the audio doesn't cut out in this episode as well. I don't know why it's doing that. Sound. Yeah, we want sounds quite good. Graphics quite good. World design, maybe not a lot. Hopefully we will get quite a lot for this as well, because we do need to pay that off. If we don't pay that off and we... Um, we go bankrupt, then they will. We will go bankrupt. And yeah, let's finish that. This game's looking quite good. I don't think it's going to be a hit game, but yeah, I did get some advice from Dan, Dan and Stripe, if you want to know. Um, he said, do. I think it was a racing slash. No, I think it was. Something like that. Game review, okay. Uh, I called it Game 6, I'm such a dumbass. Oh well. Beautiful, oh, this is quite a good game. This might be a hit game, I don't think it will be. Focus on gameplay, served it very well. Played it for days by Game Hero. Oh yeah, this is going to be a good game, guys. Nice experience from all games. Alright, yeah, I think this is going to be quite a good game. And it, remember, it is for the younger audience. Today, it's been released. I'm hoping that this is um going to be a really best-selling game. So we're already ranked 43, which isn't bad, I suppose. I called it Game 6. I'm such a noob. Um, so let's just... Oh, the growing interest in video game games, there is also a growing audience for upcoming games. New research available. Marketing. Let's research marketing then. See how much. I don't. I hope it's not that much. Um. Oh, casual games. That was it. I think. Quite a lot. Let's do casual games. I think it was um, racing and casual games, which was uh, always really good, apparently, according to Dan. Um, and Dan's completed the game. Um, game off the market. Alright, sorry about that. So we've researched casual games. Um, 
which is good. So let's develop a new game. We're gonna call this um, every every guy's game. We're gonna do it for everyone. And let's do a sports and casual. Um, let's do this one for the game link actually. And let's obviously do th this. And let's do 2D graphics v1. We might get quite a lot for this. Um, game development stage one. Engine, let's do quite good. Gameplay again, quite good. We don't really want stories and quests. Um, dialogue's not really, maybe a bit. Level design, yeah, let's just keep that, that, like that. Goal hint. Um, if you have more than one million... Okay, sorry about that, guys. So basically it was just saying, um, once you get a hit game, you'll get one million and you'll be able to move to, like, a new apartment or an office. Let's do world design quite good. Graphics, good. Sounds, maybe not the best. So yeah, let's just wait for the bugs. Um, got quite a few there. One more, that's it. Every guy's game. Hopefully this will be quite a good one. It looks like 13 and 13. And yeah, we're going up in them. So this could be quite a good one, I think. Um, it depends whether uh, you know. Release game, industry news. Uh, Venna, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Venna compete against the game lane from N A spokesperson from the company said, unlike the similar devices on the market, which don't come close uh, to game, or has a full color screen. Will this device t We will see. The Venna gear will debut in two months. Level editor, good. So, all right. So they came in. Oh, I saw a ten. Good game from Star Games. Eight, love it. Very enjoyable. I think this is a good game. Enjoyable from all games. Yeah, I think we're going to get quite a lot for this, and we still have to pay uh, the bank back because we did go a bit over, which right now it looks like, you know, we are. It seems um, the initial sales for every guy's game audience. Oh, no. Well, it seems like we're getting quite a lot of money for it. We're getting lots of fans as well. Because um, if you remember last time, guys, in our last episode, our fans went down by a lot. Um, today they've been released. This is a reminder that bank. All oh, right, yeah. So that won't be that long now, because um, in this the weeks and the months are very, very short. So that won't be long. Um, as you can see, we've got way we've got loads um, of money to pay that off. So we can just wait for them to take that money away. Game off the market. Every guy's game is now off the market. Um, Quite a lot then. And uh, now we're just gonna have to wait for them to um, take the money away because I don't want to go spending it all and then be in debt for them to take. Alright, there we go. I oh, know. Alright, the G64 has been taken off the market. Well, the time was coming. Hopefully, this will take the. Come on, bank. Alright, there we go. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Let's do some research. Let's research level editor. Level editor. Researching. There we go. Research complete. You have successfully researched level editor. You have research level. Uh, you have just concluded this part. 
Hardware manufacturers around the world surprised today as the girl uh, filed for bank uh, filed for bankruptcy. Groovedivor. Okay, so let's develop a new end. Actually, create custom game engine. Level editor. All right, so maybe we don't want mono sounds. All right, I don't think we've got enough right now. So let's just quickly develop a new game. So we're gonna go for a mature game. I've got an idea. So um. Picked, let's see what topics we can have. So let's do medieval. Let's do um, crush the kingdom. Because I know crush the castle is already a game, and be that so. And we're gonna do a strategy game, and it's gonna be for the gameling. And again, my thing. And yeah, let's do that. All right, so um, you have released one four K. So stories and quests. Let's do a bit. Um, gameplay a bit. Engine quite a lot. So yeah, that looks good. Media inquiry. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, reporter from Planet GG. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a new game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview with us about this? Of course. Great. Thank you for your time. We will publish this interview next week. So we want dialogues. Not very many. Uh, let's just do a bit. Level design. Yeah, quite a lot of AI, maybe a bit. So, um, yeah, Planet GG has recently published an interview with Wills Techno Bros. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Risk if we give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later to these games. All right, we're getting a bit of hype as well for this, which is good. Um. Let's do quite a lot of sounds, graphics. Yeah, that looks good. Oh no, we're in debt. We're in a lot of it. Oh crap. Oh well, hopefully. Actually, no, we're not in a lot of debt. We're only in 8.3k. It says like, it said like 215. I thought that meant like 250k, but it was just 250. Like normal 250. All right, so um, yeah, this is looking good, and I've leveled up as a guy. Better AI. I might do that soon. Depends. All right, let's have a look at these. Quirky but good. Uh, I don't think this is going to be our best game ever. Focus on level design sort of this game very well. I like it. Shows potential. Oh well, that wasn't our best. Oh well. Hopefully, we'll get at least quite uh, 36. That wasn't bad. We we earned lots of fans for that. Sales report. It seems that the initial uh, sales for Cross the Kingdom, the chosen platform, isn't very popular target audience. Just uh, wait for it to see. Now we've got again quite a lot of money. So I'm going to actually try and research a new topic. And can we research racing? Yes. Start research because we need to make a racing casual game. Um, sorry if you can hear my iPad in the background. For some reason it's uh, being very annoying and making noises. I don't know why. Um, yes, yeah, so there we go. We need to make a racing casual game. So yeah, we have uh, quite a lot now. Alright, that's quite good. So let's make a new game. Let's make it for everyone. Pick topic, racing, casual. 
Um, let's do it on the. Yeah, why not? Let's do it on the Venegir. Um, the the newer one. So we're gonna call it. Casual. Kaz. Yeah, that's what that right. Casual drive. And then I think we might be able to make a sequel to this once we research sequels. Let's start development. And I could call it Casual Drive 2. Engine, yeah, gameplay quite a lot. Um, let's have a bit of stories and quests. Because if you've ever played, like, stuff like, uh, old games, like, if you've heard of Driver and Driver 3 and stuff like that, I used to play them a lot when I was, uh, younger, and they were, um, you know, they were all quite, uh, casual games. Artificial intelligence, yeah, but level design, quite good. So yeah, let's just uh he's still working on level design, artificial intelligence. Um graphics, yeah we want quite good. World design maybe not that much. So yeah, we don't want that much bugs, so let's just fix that. And finish. Oh wow, that's good. New records. I think this is going to be a good game. Thanks, Dan, for suggesting to do this. It's really helped. And let's just keep... Yep, there we go. Release game. Open world we can now research. But I'm just going to wait until we have the... Um... Here we go, the reviews for Casual Drive came in. Wow, Dan was right, I think. Very good. You can see loads of 10s popping up everywhere. Very enjoyable. Hopefully we'll get a 10. 9, outstanding game. Wow. Well, Dan wasn't wasn't wrong, was he? Thank you, Dan. Um, Venna has announced it all uh, gaming experience. Venna says in the at the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation announced for the console, suggests that it will appeal for the more audiences. Okay, so if we ever do a game on there, then we'll have to um, put it for the... Alright. Oh, wow. Uh, Casual Drive has achieved a com... Techno Bros. Sales record. Casual Drive has... Um, wow. Congratulations, you have made quite a name for yourself and saved up to a... Oh, I've got one million. Yes. Alright, guys, so we're moving. And here we are in our new office. Welcome to the new office. Now that you have a bigger office, you can also hire m more staff and um, and forge a world-class development team um, to, m even, to make even better games. Um, you may also train yourself and staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing the management course, uh, which is required before you can hire your first employee. The game's uh, the game started training menu. Train staff management. <coughs> It seems the, initi uh, the initial sales for car for Cash Drive has fallen way below numbers and received outstanding reviews, but, but it seems that popular with the target audience. I thought we did quite well on that one, actually. News. According to our market research recently, publishing games blah, 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 is fairly new to the gaming industry. Develop next. Well, this new place is um, pretty damn swanky. I mean, it's not too shabby, is it? Training complete. Well done. You have successfully completed your management course and you will be able to hire your very first invisible near the big desk. Before you can hire someone, you have to advertise, advertise to open position how you want duplicates. A high budget will increase the number of applicants um, and the different... So maybe the budget, uh, let's just do 20. 
game demo, I don't know. The search for the um for the open the list of applicants and hire someone for this position. Don't forget that you can always train your employees to improve their skills. Gavin Cummings, that's a rude name, yeah. <laughs> so he's got quite a lot of technology, and this guy's got got quite a lot of design. Ten k per month. Hmm. I'm going to go for this guy. It seems that Will's Techno Bros has recently moved into a new office with a well-known technolo technology teaching for employees. The company is well known for games such as Casual Drive and Every Guy's Game has um, reported out of a new out of a garage until now. One of the many fans of Casual Drive I can't believe they didn't even have a problem. I'm really f looking forward to their games in the future. Congratulations on, on your first. It is unusually good. Uh, it is. It's, uh, sorry. It is usually a good idea to welcome trainings. Uh, tra uh, to give your staff a welcome training before they. Sorry, my brain is dead. Um, to get them to, up to speed quickly. This will match. Menu. Medium get medium something. I couldn't read it. Fire! I love how it says that. Start training. So we're gonna train them. Uh, today the new game platform. Okay, so that was released. We'll probably be doing some games on that. Casual Drive is now off the market. Dang it! One million forty-six. Wow, that's a lot. good though so let's um do a bit of research um i think i'm gonna research marketing so is, is this guy done let's make him research the steering wheel Yep, yeah, so then we can make maybe a new um a new game engine. Uh you successfully unlock marketing. You can now access marketing options in the app in development. So Okay, so that's done. Let's develop a new game. Oh no, we need to create a custom game engine. Let's do that. Level editor. Make quite an expensive one. Hi, boss. I um I have a knack for security. I think we should really do with some security up. No, how dare you? Okay, sorry, I bothered you. Yeah, Al Alexius Mitch, whatever your name is. See, this is Will's Techno Bros. You don't mess with me, bro. However, you are you are quite a good employee. So um, all right. Fair play to you. I mean, like, he he's a good guy. Look, he's working just just as hard as I am. Hopefully in the future we can bring in loads and loads more people and stuff. Yeah, 100k engine. Invest over 100k in new design. Your your I didn't give it a name. <laughs> wow. Um. Whatever. Let's develop a new game. Let's call it Super Super Weed People. Mature. <laughs> um, let's do life. Casual. Let's do this. This. Yes. Right, let's do game engine two. Start development. Um, stories and quests. Not a lot. Gameplay engine. Maybe not as good. <laughs> Super weird people. <laughs> Yeah, they, all they like to do is, all day is just, you know, smoke that weed. Um, AI level design, hmm. Maybe a bit. Dialogues, 
yeah, we're not going to have level editor because I don't think it's going to be one of them games with particular levels, so, you know. Um, graphics, yeah, we don't really want a lot of sounds, maybe a bit of war design, so just, you know, a bit, a bit equal. Finishing. Doing one more bug, and then let's finish it. New combo, which is good. Yeah, so I think that this is going to be going quite well. I mean, we've just moved into our new apartment. Uh, welcome to the office, guys. Uh, new research, new research available. Simple, better dialogues. Game reviews, our first game review, okay. Fun at State, I don't think they liked it. <laughs> I like it, okay, they like it. Shows potential. This is going to be terrible, I know. Yeah. Okay, so, Super Weed People wasn't the best. People didn't like it as much as it, they could have. We've got 2.8k fans, which is quite a lot. Let's just look at our um, our game history. So, Super Weed People, Casual Drive, Crush the Kingdom, Every Guy's Game. Crush the Kingdom, no, what was it? It was Casual Drive. Casual Drive was the bell. Yeah, um, this was like the worst one. Cheap, no, that was not the worst one. Your Life, Back from Burt, The Willowmator 2, The Willowmator 1. Yeah. So not the best, but um, I think we will, we will make, eventually, a Casual Drive 2. We'll just need to wait for that. Um, can we do some research? Can we research sequels? I don't think that's any topics. Project map stories and quests. I don't think we can do sequels yet. Um, let's do let's do simple cuts. It's not a lot. We can fill this position. Maybe only do maybe like 20 a month. Alright, so we're just going to find a bit more um, staff people. Richard Taylor, Landon Harrington. So we need someone with good design. Um, yeah, let's research this. Uh, let's hire this person. So. Um, yeah, so we've got Langdon Harring Harrington, I think, that's his name. Just give them the welcome thing, which we give them all. Because, uh, they're worth it. Oh, wow. Great. Today, Inventor. Fans around the world have been waiting for them and disappointed. So yeah, um, here we are with um, our gang, three of us, just it's like Mojang, but better. Hi again, I've heard that you have been very successful in the gaming business. Um, no, Jason. Medium sized contracts have been locked. So is that research? Let's give this guy a bit of research to do. Uh, better AI, no, that's too much. Um, what should we make him research? Let's make him research prison. And maybe we can develop a new game as well. Prison, no, let's just call it cops and robbers. Cops and robbers. We need to wait for him to be done. Come on, mate. 
think this guy might be a bit slow. There we go. So, um, develop a new game. Let's do it for the more mature. Actually, let's do it for everyone. If we want cops and robbers. Oops, do not happen there. Cops and robbers. We need to pick a topic prism and then the thing. Let's do it a strategy. And then the platform. Do the Venegear gear and then obviously the game engine too. Uh, yeah, let's do that. So stories and quests, we need yeah gameplay and engine. This is gonna I'm gonna try and do make this quite a good game. Uh, we need art intelligence by quite a lot. Level design. Yeah, dialogues maybe not a lot. From time to time, your employers will need to recharge their batteries, and an employee is needed for a rest when it decreases. To give them a holiday, just check that uh, just send on vacation. Yeah, like that. I can't go on vacation though. Today, the new game platform, Super TES. Analysts have observed Let's just wait for it to load. Has one player put in some time than right now? This new trend promises to bring an interesting childlandish ideas may flourish. I can't speak today or read. I'm terrible today. Graphics. Let's do graphics quite good. We need sounds quite a lot as well. World design, maybe not a lot. So, yeah, we still got uh, quite a few bugs which probably have to fix in a minute. There we go. Thanks for just bringing up a bug just there, just as I click finish. Alright, so that's a new, um, a new thing the combo. And yeah, so we got 2D graphics again. Good to have them back. Or is, it, is this like the first time? I can't remember. <laughs> um, the first reviews of our newly released game, Cops and Rocks, came in. Quirky but good. Shows potential from Informed Gamer. Um, could have been more from Game Hero. Falls, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't the best game that we've done here at World Techno, Techno Bros, but it was um, it was okay, I suppose. It's not the best. Sales report: It seems that the initial sales for Cops and Robbers have fallen uh, way below audience. Okay, so apparently um, everyone, no one, no one likes strategy and um, you know so we need to do strange combinations as you can see up here strange combinations so I think that we're gonna do this um, next episode so um, yeah I put I've I hope you've enjoyed this episode guys um, oh yeah the media bars the latest blah, 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 this year's station apparently Voni has calibrated with Inventors, creators, yeah, whatever. Um, this would be the world's first CD drive. Journalists around the world are baffled as the only um, day and sour. Inventor announced today that they will cancel the project and instead come to with a different partner. Rumor has it that this reduction deal with uh, the companies have blah blah blah. blah yeah, the yeah. So they're going to bring out the PlayStation, but they're calling it the Play System, probably due to copyright. And that's off the market. So we're going to go for now, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please be sure to leave. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Please be please be sure to leave a thumbs up. 
Okay, the TS is going to be taken off the market soon. So yeah, um, please be sure to leave a thumbs up, guys. And if you enjoyed, um, if you want more, please subscribe. So, um, so yeah.